our Commitment 2012 coverage. Yeah, let's get to the latest numbers. Starting for president, and ABC News has already projected Governor Mitt Romney as the winner here in Mississippi with just 8% of the precincts reporting. And let's also look at the numbers for the race for U.S. Senate, already projected as well. Roger Wicker, the incumbent, going back to Washington. And real quick, let's check out in the race for Supreme Court District number one. Nobody's been declared yet with 4% of the precincts reporting. Bill Waller leads Earl Banks. All right, time to bring back in our political analyst, Governor Ronnie Musgrove and Matt Friedman. Well, let's start with Matt. Do you think we're going to know who's going to be the next president tonight? I think we probably will. Now, whether the loser will actually concede tonight, I don't know about that. Because, Governor, I think a lot of the times they're starting to think this could be messy night and we're going to lawyer up. And I think both sides have done that. Uh, I think you're right, but I agree with you. I think that we'll know by the numbers who should win. And then you're right. If there's some kind of contest or someone believes something has gone wrong in various states, we will probably see that later on. You remember the night several nights or several years ago when we were up uh, very late and then just gave up and went to the next day. Well, this is true. And of course, everyone remembers the presidential race of 2000 uh, with Bush v. Gore. And that, that lasted, of course, a long time. And I just don't believe you'll see that in this race in spite of the fact that it is close. Well, we're going to see some real close races, I'll be in places like Florida. Uh, Virginia looks like it's pretty good for Romney right now, but Ohio and Pennsylvania, a lot of interesting races out there. No, no question, and uh, I think we'll just need to wait to see the numbers, but I think the numbers will be decisive in all of those states. Hmm. Uh, on the national stage, CNN is uh, projecting the Republicans will keep control of the House. Does that surprise you at all? Uh, Darren, that is not a surprise to me. Uh, I believe as the race continued, you, you saw the Republicans solidify the House. I think the real question mark was in the United States Senate. There was a lot of talk that the Republicans may gain control of the Senate. Looking at the numbers tonight, I believe the Democrats will maintain their numbers and may extend it uh, by a vote or two. So we'll see how that turns out uh, later on tonight. The only surprise would be, could Obama actually get anything done if it were a Republican uh, legislature? And of course, vice versa for Mitt Romney if the Senate goes Democrat. Well, oh, you got it right there. It was getting good, though. But we right. are going to hear from them and again in about 30 minutes, though. Thank you so much. Well, that's right. And all Mississippi members of the U.S. House are on the ballot today. District 3 incumbent Republican Greg Harper has been declared the winner of the race over four-party candidate John Luke Pennell. 16, WABT Scott Simmons live in Pearl with reaction from a very happy Harper camp, I bet, Scott. Yeah, Harper camp, very happy. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reese happy, too. Harper's been called the winner in the congressional race. Republicans shaping up pretty nicely right now in Mississippi. Well, we're so proud of Congressman Harper. He's my congressman. He's doing a fantastic job in Washington, D.C., and the people of the 3rd District came out in large numbers today to show their support for him. What do you think about how the Republican race for president is going right now? Well, we think things are going well. If you look at the, the race, it's as expected. It's close in places like Florida and places like Virginia, uh, places like North Carolina. We expected that. If you look at Florida and you see some of these uh, panhandle um, precincts coming in, we think we're going to do very well there. So we're continuing to be optimistic at, at where we are. It's going to be a close election. We expect that. It's a divided country, and that's when we need to elect Mitt Romney president so we can unite this country and, and return to... Uh, American exceptionalism. Right. Lieutenant Governor uh, Tate Reeves joining us here at the Greg Harper camp. Now back to you. All right, thank you, Scott. AP also declaring Benny Thompson the winner for District 2. He fought off a challenge from three other candidates. 16 WAPT's Aaron Kelly is at Thompson's campaign party in Bolton. Aaron. Well, Stephanie, the party's still going here. We're right outside of Max Cafe. This is where people have been going in, getting catfish here. Uh, there's been people outside dancing, a DJ. Congressman Betty Thompson, of course, has been in office for 19 years. A lot of people here supporting him, and uh, they've been watching those numbers come in. Right now, we are just uh, out here with them. We're going to be talking to Congressman Thompson later. For now, I am in Bolton Live. Aaron Kelly, 16 WAPT News. Hey, okay, Aaron, thank you so much for the update. And we continue our team coverage now. 16 WAPT's Meg Pace live at the Roger Wicker Camp where the race has also been declared. Meg. Hey, Darren, Stephanie. Uh, race has been declared for Roger Wicker, and we are here at his party. And joining me is Governor Phil Bryant. you got to feel good about um, this Senate and some of the House races here. Tonight. Oh, absolutely. You know, we overlook a lot of times. Uh, Roger Wicker's just been elected. I think Greg Harper, Alan Nunley, Stephen Plaza will be elected. They, these are really good victories for Mississippi. I remember not too long ago, all of those were held by Democrats in those offices. And so it's an exciting night. I just saw, I believe it was 58, around 42, that Mississippi went for Mitt Romney. Uh, that's as much as I can do here, but we did the best we could. 
All right, thank you so much for talking to us, Governor. Thank you. Governor Brian will actually be addressing the crowd here in just a few moments, and right after that, Congress or Senator Roger Wicker will be here for that, reporting live in Jackson. Meg Pace, 16 WAPT News. Okay, thanks, Meg. And back to ABC's live coverage of election night 2012, but our local coverage does not end. It continues on WAPT.com, your iPhone, your iPad, and Android. Another live update coming your way in about 30 minutes.